everybody, it's been a little bit, but it is time for another haul. And today's haul comes from one of my favorite places, Amazon. Now, I think most of the things I got were shirts, but I can't remember exactly what I got. So we'll just see. We'll just see what I got. Now, I've opened them out of the boxes, but I haven't taken them out of their bags. So I will be opening them on the, out of the bags in front of the camera. Blah tongue twisters in the mouth. I also put these fake nails on. They look really cool, but they were really hard to put on because unlike my normal ones I get that have like the little sticky thing already on the nail, I had to like stick the sticky thing on the nail and then the nail on the thing. It was just a lot of work. So while these look fabulous, it's probably the only time you ever see me with these <laughs> talon-like nails. And plus they're just long, guys. And I can't even type on my phone correctly because I just get like so hard, I just hear click, 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 and it's not enough of my fleshy, meaty fingers touching, so my phone doesn't know how to react. Girls with nails, how do you do this? I, I can't, I like my short fakies, so I'm probably gonna switch back to them. But it was fun to try something new. Okay, enough blabbering, let's jump into the haul. What is this, I'm seeing red, a lot of red. It is, bum, bum, bum. oh, this is fun. This is a crop top but it's got a, ton, a like a ton of cute like little details in the front with these like straps that form like a cage and then the back it's also got straps and i love the back like obsessed with the back it's like three i think it'll look better when you see it on me no it's four a bunch of six strands that kind of like fan out it'll look better on me i think to explain how the straps go it's got a sweetheart neckline it feels pretty good stretch. Um, this feels really well made, honestly. It's cotton and nylon and spandex mix. It's just like a real, it feels like really nice. This is a nice purchase. I'm excited because in the summer, anything that's like almost a sports bra, I don't have to wear a real bra with, which would be like this. And if you're new to my channel, you don't know this yet, but I hate bras. I also hate underwear. I just hate extra clothing so I'm excited about this because I think it means that this summer I can ditch the bra and a couple things which I like a lot. I am obsessed with A. This look right here is hot. Look at my wear that's down the straight. I will get some creepy dudes hitting on me. I mean who can blame them? Actually I do blame them. Not cool. But definitely don't have to wear a bra with this. I have one on right now just because I'm trying things on but it's very supportive. I could definitely wear this without a bra and be 100% okay, which makes it amazing. So looking at this, I think this was like a basic girl purchase. I was just like, I need one of these, so I guess I'll get it for the haul. It is a white cami, again, with some fun strappy details. It does have adjustable back, which is nice, so if you need to go up or down based on your height, that's cool. It's made of nylon and spandex, and it is like, so stretchy. I will say this is a 2X, 3X and like those aren't the same sizes. So I think what they did is like, they were like, this is just really stretchy. So it'll work for both sizes. We'll see if that's really true. One of the things that's usually a problem when people try to do one size for a 2X and a 3X is down here at the bottom. Cause if you are 3X, like I am on the hips, you need that stretch. It does seem like the bottom stretches quite a bit. So we'll see how this actually looks on, but I'm a little, I'm a little dubious. I think it's a little dubious. I don't trust it 100% because I just don't like when anyone tries to make something for two sizes when it really should be made for one. Unless it's like a big coat or like a kimono or something that's like generally oversized and could work across multiple sizes. But this, this feels like a fitted tank that really should be a one size item. Like not one size fits all, but like you should buy it in one size, like 2X, 3X etc. So this is more comfortable than I thought it would be considering it's like for two sizes, but I will say this. I just don't like it in this color. I don't know when I would wear this specifically because when I wear a tank like this, I like it to have a little bit more room here so I can blouse it out under like if I have a skirt over it. This feels like a smoothing tank. So if you're like wanting to kind of smooth your body underneath something else, this would be the thing to wear. And then this is like a cute detail that could go under like a v-neck shirt. So this item is from Amazon's new line, which is called Paper and Tea. And tea spelled T-E-E. -E. 
like a t-shirt versus tea you drink but I think they were trying to be punny with that name and this is just a cute little t-shirt dress I thought this would oh it is not a t-shirt dress I would like took a guess of what I'd ordered before it actually I actually opened it up and it is not a dress at all it is actually a t-shirt with this like flouncy thing on the side so it you know comes up like a normal tee and then has this flounce that goes down the side. When you look at how it's sewn, it's kind of weird because it just has this like extra triangle or extra, what do you call a rhombus? I don't know, it's like a square -ish shape that's not quite a share and on the angles. I think that is a rhombus. If my like fifth grade ge uh, geometry still holds true, this is a rhombus that is sewn onto the tee. It feels really soft it's got kind of like a vintage like style um, commentary on it. Now let's see if, I, if there's actually tags in it. There is, and it's rayon and spandex mix, but super soft guys. And I do really like these like little details. I like that it's got the little raffia going down to the label. So this is cute. I'm excited to actually give this a go. I think this will be a fun kind of comfy tee that actually looks like styled, which you know, I like that. This is a lot cuter than I thought it was gonna be. It's really comfortable, but it looks like a little bit fancier than just like a normal t-shirt, but it feels like a normal t-shirt, and I just like this. I feel like a couple of drinks and I'll be like, yeah, I'm dancing with my shirt again, yeah. She's dancing with her shirt again, yeah. And that will happen, 100%. These nails are making it harder to open this bag because I'm just like so afraid they're gonna pop off. It's just like, I'll pop off. I'm like, get all real on you. But when I mean pop off, I just mean my nails. This is, what is this? Is this a dress? It is, I think it is a tunic. Because if it is a dress, it is a very, very short dress. This is from Webble Wilson Angels. Webble, Webble Wilson Angels. <laughs> I love a good Webble. No, Rebel Wilson Angels. Has a cute little R on here for Rebel. Obviously the tag's there. It is a cold shoulder top that comes out over here. I like that it has kind of this closure around the garment here. So it's got some piping that's kind of finishing the end of the fabric versus just a standard fold over. It goes up to a slightly, I think it's supposed to be more flared arm, but on me it's gonna be tight because I got big old arms. And in this cool kind of like magenta and black print, this I feel like is going to be really cute over a pair of leggings, just like super chill style but looking dressy. I feel like that's the theme of this haul. What can I wear that's comfortable and stylish? I'll take five of those please. Looking for the tag. Hello tag, where are you? Are you in here? I can't find it. It's made of fabric. <laughs> it kind of goes with my dress right now. Like They kind of, you know, the color coordinate a bit. So I actually like this a lot. I think it needs a belt right here because I've got a lot of extra fabric, but that makes me think it'd be really good for apple shapes as well because it looks like there's extra fabric in the waist region. Um, I just think it's really cute. I probably would wear leggings on it because it's not tight in the hips, but it is gonna ride up a little bit. And I'd like to keep this business only for me and for a very special gentleman who impresses me with his wits. I don't want a man who wants me for my booty. No, no, no. I don't want a man who thinks that I'm a cutie. No, no, no. I want a man who sees me for everything that I can be. I want a man who just likes me. Yes, I want a man who just likes me. Da, 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 da. I'll fly within. Or don't, because I won't ever date anyone who messages me online. It's a rule. Honestly, because it's like a little weird, but anyway. <laughs> Stick <up> for life. <laughs> this is, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is a basic navy t-shirt. It's got a bib hemline, which I'm not a super huge fan of. I hate when it hangs low, but sometimes it works good for tucking in. This is navy, it's, it looks a little small for a 3X. It will probably fit me because I am more of a 2X on top, but I would say this is definitely sized more like a like a 2X versus a 3. Definitely very fitted. And it's just a standard navy t-shirt. 
it feels okay. It's not like the nicest or softest t-shirt. What I will say here is this bib is not very connected. So when you actually look at it on the arm of the shirt, it's only really sewn together up here, like a couple inches down. So like to here, and then it's like fully open. So it might look kind of cool. It is a different take on a, a different tank, a different take on a shirt, but it definitely will kind of like split apart which can be great or can be terrible. I won't really know until I try it on, but I think it's I think it's kind of cute for a basic, right? Um mm, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I ju I just I don't get it. It's not for me. <laughs> this is a white blouse -y thing. Okay, yeah, so it's a white blouse that is a halter, was well, a halter neck? No, it's like a, it's a neck thing. I don't know what you would call this, but you put it on and then you tie it around the neck. So you could either put the tie in the back, which most people would do, or you could wear it reversed and tie it around the front. I feel like both ways you could wear it, it would be acceptable. And it's just standard white. I thought this would be good with summer skirts and things like that. It looks very true to size. The feel of the fabric, it's got a little bit of stretch to it, but not a ton. So it's going to be comfortable. And the fabrics it's made out of is polyester and elastostain. So this is cute though. I like, I like this neckline, whatever it's maybe. I like, I like neck. But we will shall not forget turtle gate. Turtleneck Gate 2017. One time I wore the internet and people flipped out. They were like, hell no, you should not wear a turtleneck. Your neck looks huge. And I was just like, I'm just wearing a turtleneck, it's cold. So now whenever I think of things that like tie at my neck, I'm just like, turtleneck gate. I get a little like, I get a little PTSD from that because I was like, wow, never knew a turtleneck would be that controversial for the internet. But here we are, right? Here we are. Are they here? Are they here? Have the turtleneck police shown up? Sorry, I feel like I had to like act like that because I think I look amazing and stuff like this and I don't know why people don't like it because I think this is super cute. I think it looks classy and elegant and it looks very flattering on my body. I don't get why people hate when I wear turtlenecks because I like this. Things to note, um, it's a little tighter on the bust than I would have thought it to be so if you are large chested this may not work for you. If you thought I was done with baby pink, well, I'm not. I will never be done. It's like I just figured out that I could wear it and now I'm like, buy all the things. So this is, it looks like another tunic, sorry. <laughs> the tag like stuck through like it was like, this is oddly shaped, it's not. This is a mock neck, again, total neck gate. Oh, I really went for it this haul. This is from Step Up. Do you guys remember those TV movies? It was like, we're gonna take very little plot line and we're gonna mix it with amazing dance scenes and see if nobody notices that this is just someone's dream dance recital. There were also like Honey and a bunch of other ones. They were awesome, but they literally just were a dance recital with a very, very loose plot. So this comes down, it's about tunic length, has two little pockets down here, which are kind of cute. It's ribbed, so it's gonna give you some generosity for fit. But yeah, it looks like it could be worn as a dress even, um, maybe on the shorter side, but it's cute. This item is made of polyester and spandex, so it's gonna be pretty forgiving and very comfortable. I don't know why, maybe it's these pockets or this color or something, but it's 100% reminding me of those smocks we used to put on when we were like five or six and wanted finger paint, and they were like, no, you're gonna have finger paint all over your clothes. Wear this hideous smock. And it, this makes me feel like that. Like this is what I would put on when I want to not have to worry about destroying what I'm wearing, which is not a good sign for this dress. I don't know if it's the color, if it's the cut, if it's the pockets, but that's how I feel in it. So this is just not a win for me. I don't like it that much. So this t-shirt I'm super excited about because I found a store on Amazon that sells like cute printed t-shirts for like $5. And they were all really, really cute. So I got one and I was like, we'll see how this goes. And if they're as comfortable and as cute in person as they were online, then I've got a new go-to store. And the company was called Living Doll. Now this is a 3X and it looks super true to size. 
It's cropped a little, and then it just says Sun Kiss 1976. I thought this was so vintagey, so cute, and I loved. It's like five bucks, and I think this is something that you could see at like Forever 21 for like $19. So here's my five dollar hauler. I'm in love with this store. It is so soft. Like I didn't know if I was gonna like it because I was like, this is a little bit too good to be true because the designs were really cute and it was so cheap. But then I was like, no, no, it's solid. It's actually the type of shirt that's so soft that you would sleep in it. So I'm super impressed. I love that ringer tees are coming back, like a little bit of that 90s infusion coming in. Very like, again, as I like to bring it up all the time in my hauls, it's very Delia's circa late 1990s, early 2000s. And I'm living for that aesthetic right now as, as shown by my Lizzie McGuire inspired hair. It's like adult Lizzie McGuire. In fact, this hairstyle is actually inspired by my aunt who got very drunk one time in like early 2000s and had like four butterfly clips on her dresser and she's like, I see that all the girls are wearing these now. Can you do my hair like a cool girl? And I did her hair like this except with butterfly clips. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna do the adult version of Lizzie McGuire flashback to my aunt and <laughs> doing her hair while she was drunk while my uncles ordered pizza from several different places to see like a competition who would arrive there first my family's very fun at family reunions they're very fun um <laughs> i flashed back to that and got inspired with my hair for this so <laughs> i don't even know you just got a great insight into my family. <laughs> We're just a fun group of people, you know? We're just fun. Oh, I love this so much. It's a little longer than I thought it was gonna be, but this t-shirt is so soft and it just fits really well. Like, a lot of times fitted plus size stuff doesn't work out, but this is like a cute fitted tee that is also super comfortable and definitely works for my body and it's not too tight on the hips. Hallelujah! Because usually when I get fitted shorts, they're like, fitted, 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 like, oh my gosh, I can't get them over my hips. But this falls quite naturally there, very comfortably there, and I like it. What is this? I actually don't know. Um, it is, wait for it, this is a dress. I knew I had ordered something, but this is from Daily Ritual, which I think is Amazon's line. Maybe paper and that other one wasn't. I don't know. I know that I ordered a dress from Amazon's new line of basics because I wanted to see how they were. I think this is it. It's a red, my jam color wise. It is, again, super soft, just like the t-shirt I tried on just before. It does not have pockets, but man, this thing is comfortable. You could live in this dress in the summer. Looks very true to size. This is the 3X. So, like, I'm gushing over the softness of these fabrics. It is made of rayon and spandex, and it's just a cute little tea dress that you can wear over your swimsuit or even just like running errands. Cute pair of sneakers, you're good to go. I love things like this for when it gets hot because when it is hot, you want as little clothing as possible on your body because anything that could add like a bead of sweat to my life, get out of here. I don't want you, you're not welcome. I want to be as cool as possible. So I live in things like this in the summer. Like people are always like, girl, you should not be wearing shorts. You should like, you're too big for that. And I'm always like, it's not about looking cute in the summer. It's about uh, surviving the heat. So yeah, if I can make my shorts shorter and my top cropped just so some air can get up in this place, I'm gonna do it. Don't judge me for being comfortable. <laughs> like seriously, don't. I've had like eight accents in this video. That's something I do for fun, guys, is I do accents. I pick up other people's accents. It's just a fun little game I like to play sometimes. So I feel like this video is one of the first times you guys are seeing it. I would 100% recommend this dress. It is so comfortable, it's so lightweight, it wasn't expensive, and it just fits really well. And I feel just so comfortable and at ease in it, but I also love the way it looks on me. I love that it's a little bit like it's not too short, but it gives you a little bit of leg action. While at the same time, like none of this action. This is our last item. Yes, I know. Soon we'll be parting. You'll have to wait, yeah, for another all, cause I've 
I've almost said it all And when next time comes we'll begin it again But right now my friend you gotta wait For another all Wait for another all Yeah Committed to those low notes It just was like my voice is scratchy It's almost gone from screaming at improv, I'm just gonna go for it. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm gonna be doing the rest of the whole like this. I'm just kidding. So this, I thought, was the ultimate fun shirt to put over a swimsuit. Title it such. It is a blouse, but it is big and baggy. It is a little bit see-through. It's got a fun little tie here if you want it, or you can leave it open. But I just thought this would be super cute with like a super bright bikini underneath. You know, just walking in like a styled lookbook, which is how I'll probably wear it because maybe I bought it for that reason. I could also be worn in the summer, like with a cute skirt and maybe like a bralette. I just thought it was super cute, super light. And I love that it's just so open on the body. We get a lot of stuff pushed just that's like very body con, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I love to show my curves. But sometimes you just want ventilation. <laughs> As I just spoke about, sometimes you just want air. Sometimes you want to feel like it's not stuck to you. Sometimes you just want to feel like you're swimming in beautiful fabric. And when you find shirts like that that are cut well, that also give you that breathability. So you don't look like a circus tent, but at the same time, you don't feel the extra sweat from a bodycon. This, this shirt is your jam. It's got some cute little ruffles here at the arm. Obviously, lots of smocking here at the bust line. So it's going to give you extra fabric that goes out. It just flares out and it's fun. And it's definitely made of a polyester. Yup, boom, mostly polyester. A little bit of spandex, but honey, this ain't got no stretch. I don't know where that spandex is living, but definitely it, you ain't feeling it. It may be there, but you ain't feeling it. You ain't getting any gift from that. Also, fun little note here on the back of the collar. I just like that it's a split collar. Just thought that was interesting and fun. That's the back, this is the front, there you go. So I just think this is just super cute and super easy. It is very see-through, but that's kind of the point of a blouse like this. And I love that there's just so much room and comfort in this. I absolutely think this is the cutest. Like you can see my shape, even though there's volume, which I sometimes feel with like voluminous things, you just get all the extra volume and you lose like your body shape. But with this, because it is kind of sheer and it does kind of sit very well on the body, you still get your shape but you also get the comfort of an oversized garment. Yay. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was my, ladies and gentlemen, there is one man watching this. I wanted to call you out, single sir who watches my haul videos. <laughs> Just managed this like man sitting at home all by himself. He made like this nice pasta dinner, set it down and he's like, I'm gonna go and be the only man that watches Glitter and Ladies. That's me eating popcorn, but I just said pasta, so I guess I would have to eat it like this. <sighs> I just love watching your hauls, like quiet Friday nights alone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my haul. Links to everything is down in the description box, as they always are. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for letting me be part of your amazing world and supporting me in the crazy that I am. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll check you later and peace. I just wanna do this cause my nails. Did that look dramatic enough? Like I feel like I need a black background. Let me try again. I feel like I'm being birthed. <laughs> it's not sexy when I do it. It's just not. But they're pretty annoying, but pretty. Finished the haul. Yes, I finished it all. Now all I need to do is edit it. And I'll sit on my chair or my sofa, it's spare. And I'll write a comment description below. And check out this new haul featuring stuff from Amazon. You can click the links below to access everything you want to know about what's in this haul. Cause I finished the haul. Yes, I finished it all. And now all I need to do is edit it.
All I need to do is edit it. It's all I need to do is edit it for you. Is edit it for you. Just edit it. Scene. I'm weird.